No, I'm just going to try to do my best. Knowing Hamlin, though, he's he really would love player. that. He's a really good player. He is. I he's mean, always so positive. Like, I'm just intimidated by his pure skill. He, he really cares about melee. Yeah, he's... And uh, I, I always feel a little bit... You feel that rush when you play somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hamlin's also really good at uh, adapting mid-set. That's, that's what I... I, I, yeah. I feel like Hamlin's always thinking about the game. Even when he's not playing the game, which sometimes can be... His focus is really good. I've, I've seen him squeeze out, like... Did you see him play Mouse DK last week? Yeah. Um, yeah, he... Mouth should have... Uh, Mouth like... Basically... He all... Um, Hamlin all through the course of the first game, like, you know, the very end of the game. And then he just, like, kept it up. Like, he... It was that crucial point where you get nervous and you lose, or you get nervous and you buckle down, and you buckle down, and yeah. that's that's what's gonna make it hard. But uh, here we go, Abel. Never. Uh, yeah, Abel and never seen this guy. Boomstick. I think Abel might be new. Uh, I haven't heard of him either. Uh, All right, gotta shake that off. Here we go. And Boomstick obviously is a very well-respected player around these parts. I respect this guy's willingness to take a laser here and there, but. You do got to be careful when you're already down. Yeah. Um, and Boomstick's obviously a pretty experienced player. And yeah, that was, his that neutral was, is good. His laser game is good. That was good. a crazy combo. Down air into just straight up forward smash. Yeah. Uh, Boomstick sort of calling Abel out. Um, and it looks like Boomstick's already like figured Abel out. That's... That was the, the patient forward smash. Boomstick is doing a really good job of uh, just just remaining on top of Abel in neutral. Uh, I like what he was... You really can't predict a double laser get up unless you know the player when it's the first stock, first time. Yeah, yeah. That's really the first recovery where Boomstick's actually been a little bit in trouble. Okay, so this is the stock of champions. This is where you get out with some some quick DI. Ooh! Yeah. We'll see no, what Abel. That was good movement though. Yeah, that was didn't get a punish, but just a little slow, I would say. And Abel has actually dropped a lot of uh, edge guards. So I think that he gave up a little too much space in the last one. Um, yeah. And it's just up to him to... Oh, that was good. That was good. Boomstick is getting really good punishes off of his uh, openings. Good DI. Gets him off stage. Great lasers. So this situation is basically data download yeah. for uh, Lamar. Hopefully he's... Yeah, so we'll see what Abel can, can get going into the second game. The way I see it, if you just, like, gather one or two things from game one, you can really shift things in your favor to stay present-minded, like... Expect that double laser. He's not giving you a lot of respect in the neutral right now. Yeah. And he's not, you know, and that transfers over to the edge game. People will underestimate you if you haven't punished yeah. properly to this point. But you can get under there, especially with Marth, you know, you can just dash in and down tilt, but he has to remember that that's going to yeah. happen when the moment comes. Um, and he can totally duck those lasers and punish and basically make him feel like Mango at whatever the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm actually uh, really curious about Abel's counterpick to Battlefield. Um, Did they go Fountain first? Uh, no, I think they went Battlefield first. Yeah, okay. Um, he, so he went back. I guess um, it's, it's, it's really good if you want to try out something that you feel like you, you didn't get to do mm -hmm. game one. So we'll see. That's a lot of confidence though. That was yeah, that was uh this that was a pretty good. straightforward edge guard. Um able not not letting it get to him, I think. This there game certainly the pace is more of an even exchange than the last one already. Yeah. Game one, uh, I, I felt like Abel was was giving Boomstick too much respect and Boomstick was just kinda um, taking the easy options and because Abel was was giving him so much respect. It's just Boomstick got really easy punishes. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Because at the very uh, good kill, yeah. um, he's really got a DI way out horizontally, and he's he's still treating it like a almost like a fox. Like I want to get that SDI. You don't. You, you need to get you need to get away from the shine. Um, and the pillar is 
but it's funny because the game one, Abel started. Um, we saw him taking lasers. He was like, I can get in there, but then he did start showing like too much respect because yeah. he got nervous. He realized, okay, I should back off until I get a real opening. That's smart. But then he sacrificed a little bit too much space. Yeah. And we saw the battle continue. Proper boosting. Woo! Yeah, that was that. I think that's that <laughs> attempt at last moment corrective DI. Yeah. You gotta, that was, you gotta uh, be more on top of the situation. Yeah. You gotta see it a few frames before. That was a really interesting uh, continuation from people. I really like that. He needs to get away from these pillars. And the thing is, he's, he, you can save your inward DI by using proper DI most of the time, but when you do get in the situation where you're getting walled out at the edge and you don't want to go off stage, you can mix it up with in DI. Yeah. But so he has to save the option for himself. Yeah. So, good stuff, both players. Uh, I, think, I think we definitely saw Abel playing better game two, though. Boomstick giving some some words. About